untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game video. For today's deck, my patrons voted that I should build a deck around Grasalax, a Lithid Scholar from Forgotten Realms, the 3 mana 3 2 legendary creature Horror, saying whenever a creature we control becomes blocked, we may return it to its owner's hand, and whenever one or more creatures we control deal combat damage to a player, we draw a card. So, of course, the only logical conclusion is to build a banned bird tribal deck, since all those cheap evasive creatures are great at enabling Grasalax, as well as Toss. Bear of Secrets, the 4 mana 1 1 legendary squirrel with indestructible, cannot be countered and has to attack each combat if able, and then whenever a creature we control deals combat damage to a player, we draw a card. So unlike Grasalax, Toski lets us draw one card for each creature that deals damage to the opponent, whereas Grasalax typically only lets us draw one extra card each turn, although I say typically because we're playing the full playset of Battlefield Raptor in the deck, a 1 mana 1 2 bird with flying and first strike, and both first strike and double strike are great alongside Grasalax, because upon dealing first strike damage we will draw a card and then when dealing regular damage we potentially draw a second card. Then we also have the full playset of a Ranger's Hawk, a 1-1 flying bird that can pay 3 mana and tap alongside another untapped creature we control to venture into the dungeon. And we've got 3 different dungeons to choose from, although probably won't be using that ability very often. And then we've got the full set of Silver Raven, a 1-1 artifact creature bird with flying that when it enters a battlefield lets us scry 1. And then the full playset of a Zephyr Gull, a 1-1 bird with flying that's too powerful for regular standard, so this is only legal in best of one, although we will be playing this in the 2022 standard queue. Then at 2 mana we've got the full playset of a Rally the Ranks, a powerful enchantment for any tribal deck. As it enters the battlefield we choose a creature type and creatures of the chosen type get plus one plus one. Then we've got two copies of Shale Dean of Radiance, a 1-1 one, one legendary bird cleric with flying and vigilance that can tap to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that entered the battlefield under our control this turn. Then at 3 mana, besides the full playset of Grasalax, we also have two copies of Realmwalker, a 2-3 shapeshifter with a changeling, so this creature is every creature type, including bird. As it enters the battlefield, we choose a creature type, and we may look at the top card of our library at any time, and cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of our library as well. So another nice card draw engine for the deck. Then we've got our four copies of Toski and two copies of Alrund, God of the Cosmos, a 5 mana 1 1 legendary creature god that gets plus 1 plus 1 for each card in our hand and each foretold card we own in exile. And at the beginning of our end step, we choose a card type that's typically going to be creature and then reveal the top two cards of our library and put all the cards of the chosen type in our hand and the rest goes on the bottom. And we also have the flexibility of playing Haka, Whispering Raven for two mana, a 2 3 legendary bird with flying that when it deals combat damage, to a player, we have to return it to its owner's hand, and then we scry 2, which also synergizes nicely with Alrun's ability. And the nice thing about Haka is that we can also play it thanks to Realmwalker, even though it's on a dual-faced card, and on the backside of Alrun, we can still play the 2-3 Legendary Bird. And then finally we've got two copies of Alrun's Epiphany, which we can first exile for 2 mana, to then later cast for 6 mana instead of 7, to create two 1-1 one, one blue bird creature tokens with flying, and we take an extra turn after this one and exile the Epiphany. So this is great in combination with an active Toski or Grasalax. And then going over the mana base, which isn't perfect considering that we're a three-color deck trying to cast some double blue spells as well. We've got two of the blue-green snarl, all 12 pathways in our colors, as well as six basic islands and four basic planes. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. Couple birds into Toski. Next turn, Zephyr Gull plus Raptor. Missing a 3 mana play. Also don't have double blue, so don't particularly want to draw Grasalax. But uh, Rally of the Ranks would be excellent. Realmwalker. Or any of our other 2 mana plays. Alright, so we'll hit for 3. Opponents. A blue green deck. So they might have foretold an Alrun's Epiphany. If they foretold a counter spell. They're gonna have a bad time against Toski, so that we don't mind as much. And there's a rally, a turn late, but still take it here. And it's time for Toski. 
And draw three, hopefully. They might have a bounce spell into the royal, fair enough. Cultivator, that's fine. Well, we're gonna get to draw three now. And play Raven. So we'll scry before attacking to potentially improve our draw steps. Ranger's Hawk seems fine. So cards we want to draw at this point. More cheap flying creatures. Grasselax would also be good. Maybe an Elrond's Epiphany. Opponent's got Ruin Epiphany, as expected. So the Rally the Ranks should set up good attacks here. So let's try and resolve this first. on checking our creature types. Yeah, that's naming bird and we'll play another one. And then yeah, I'm not gonna have enough white mana to play everything else out, but that's fine. Bird. And attack. So they probably have a bounce spell for rally if they're double blocking the goal. A land into into the royal. Or divide by zero also works. Can get a containment breach to destroy a rally. Get some mascot exhibition instead. Well, our opponent is down to six life in the meantime, and I guess four in a second. And I can play a couple more birds out. I'm not really afraid of a sweeper. So if they're place mascot exhibition, that's not going to work out. Another eureka moment to go digging. Innkeeper. Four mana left. Yeah, can't think of much that saves him here. Mimic copying Cultivator. So they have two mana left. Don't think there's any two mana fog effects in standard these days. So rally, naming bird. Should seal the deal. And our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Turn one, probably lead with the Battlefield Raptor. Turn two, double one drop. Valentin does have menace, so won't be able to block that. Opponent on a black green life gain, maybe pest deck. Which should be an okay matchup considering we can just fly over all the pests on the ground. Right, well, no priests. That's gonna make it tough to race. So I guess we can leave back the battlefield raptor and then if I can double block, including a first strike creature, then uh, we can still take out a null priest without. Losing any of our creatures. Shale's okay, but at this point I'm looking for cheaper creatures to deploy to take advantage of Grasselax, which we can play next turn with a first strike and regular strike creature in play. So that can potentially draw two. They might take out the Battlefield Raptor to set up an attack. Just gonna be a Blood Researcher.
No priest attacks. Not a good attack, as they'll find out. Play Grasselax, and we'll draw our two cards, and I'll send in the Raven too, even though could leave it back to double block. Next turn, don't have the double white to play double rally, but one rally plus Zephyr goal looks good. Is there opponent on Menace Tribal, it looks like? Reaper's Talisman's a good one. Good combo with Menace in general. So this can make it a little bit tricky to race. But we should draw a lot of cards here, so... Go Rally, name Bird, attack, and take it from there. Alright, there's my white mana, so now we'll play Shale. And next turn I can play an extra Rally. Now if our opponent has a Sweeper, we could be in trouble. Crippling Fear comes to mind. That would be quite devastating. Mortality Spear takes out Rally. That's fine. And a Blood Chief's Thirst takes out Shale. Alright, we'll Rally on Bird again. And yeah, our Battlefield Raptor's been putting in a lot of work alongside Grasalax. Okay, and then probably find to play two more birds out. And a Toski should be pretty fun too, although didn't think that's gonna come into play. Moves the equipment to the Researcher, since we can double block Valentin. But uh, yeah, our opponent looks pretty dead here, and they agree. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. This hand is probably not gonna cut it. Missing blue mana, no card draw engines. This is better. And then, as much as I like Epiphany, I think I gotta look for more cheap creatures and lands. So, Silver Raven has to try and find a land. Zephyr Goal, probably not good enough here. Turn to play Haka, and then I also have to decide between playing this as green or white. Don't have a ton of other green sources in the deck, so I'm more likely to find a white source along the way. And getting Toski down is a priority over a rally. Put on blue black. And a check for traps, most likely taking Toski. Yeah, and a blue-black control deck with sweepers like Crippling Fear and Shadow's Verdict is going to be hard to beat. Takes the Raven instead. A little surprised by that, maybe they have a different answer for Toski. Alright, so I do want land 4 and planes is good too. Maybe another check for traps coming in. Which was a reason to bottom the planes, although I still need it for rally. And then I can rally plus Haka next turn. Well, and we'll see here. Maybe a uh, Soul Shatter, because Stolsky is uncounterable. So just a deliberate and response. So, 
Gonna attack, pick up Hakai again, which is also a bit of insurance against a potential crippling fear. We'll scry before drawing. And then I think I just need more creatures. All right, there we go. Back up Toski, always useful. And there's a crippling fear. Naming the wrong creature type. Alrighty, so... Probably go Haka plus Raptor. Do next turn, play a follow-up Toski. Haka plus Rally would play best around another Crippling Fear. Although I don't know if we can really afford to do that now. Thirst on Haka. And yeah, it's Toski time. Opponent's gonna be hauled in response. So Toski dodges Shadow's Verdict, but doesn't dodge Crippling Fear. Alright, there's a Shadow's Verdict, so we still have a Toski. That's good. And then I think we Realm Walker before attacking, in case we can play Birds of the Top and then draw lands instead. And there's one bird. Attack. And now, do we want to overextend with another Raptor? I don't think I do, even though it would be pretty sweet with Grasalax. Alright, Mordekainen. That's fine. Okay. So... Bird of the top. And then probably go for Grasslax. Could also attack with a Realm Walker. And then if they block it, I just bounce it back and Toski gets to connect. Sure. The client. And then Epiphany Foretold can maybe threaten to close out the game next turn. Uh, Shadow's Verdict deals with everything but Toski. So Counterspell would be bad, has to be a pretty specific one like Negate though, so I think we still go for it. Another Deliberate instead. So we get to make some birds. And next one we've got six in the air. So very close to lethal. Do I scry with a raven or do we hold it? I guess we'll rally first and then find out what we pick up. Name bird. Does seem worthwhile to take out Mordekainen. I think we have enough in play where we can hold Raven and Hawk. Hawk also threatens to deal one damage with the uh, Venture potentially, so worth keeping in mind too. If the opponent has their own Epiphany, we could also be in trouble. It's going to be a hideous laughter instead. It's a little unexpected. 
but pretty effective against my deck since our average mana costs are quite low. Behold the multiverse, so opponent seems dead on board now. Alright, well, we survived quite a few sweepers, thanks to Toski dodging the Shadow's Verdict 2. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a promising hand. Especially if we can pick up another white bird we can play next turn. Especially the Ranger's Hawk. Because then we can have two birds attacking the turn we play Grasselax. Alright, so turn three Grasselax, turn four Toski. Put on black whites with a Professor on turn two. Gets Introduction to Prophecy. Back up Grasselax. And a Taborax from our opponents. Okay. That does stop us in our tracks a little bit. So this turn, play Realmwalker plus Raptor most likely. I guess I could still attack with both, but then they just block Grasselax with Professor. Which doesn't seem very helpful. So yeah, we'll just play Raptor and pass. And then next turn I can maybe play Toski and go for an all-out attack. And use Grasselax's bounce ability, so we don't lose too many creatures. Another Professor. Gets reduced to memory. And a Cleric class. Well, at least we have a backup Tosky and Grasselax, so that's... Memory shouldn't be too threatening. So, yeah. Tosky. And attack. Didn't think I want to attack with anything else, or do I? Yeah, I guess I could attack with a team. That way we maybe get to double dip with Grasselanx with first strike and regular damage. Alright, so... First Grasselanx ability is for Realmwalker, which I do not want to bounce. The second one is for Grasselanx himself, which I do want to bounce, but then I would lose out on the card draw. So, we'll decline again. And then we'll bounce the Raptor. Tabarangs grows. So probably gonna see an answer on Toski here. Maybe not. We just want to be able to deploy a couple cheap birds so we can kind of go wide past Tabarangs. To still draw a lot of cards in the process. Okay, there's a Haka on top I can play for free, which seems worth it. Okay, move to combats, and then just send Toski, and then uh, no attack with the Raptor this turn. Can play a couple more 1-drops, and then next turn Grasselax and swing out. So let's see here, can scry the land to the bottom with Raven too if I want. Sure. Another Toski. So no shortage of Toskis. Toski down. Soulmender. 
that's fine. So, one mana short of going Toski plus Grassle Axe. So Toski seems better then. Attack with a team. They can eat a Realm Walker and then take the damage from the 3-2. Or we can just send a 3-2, keep Realm Walker back. Yeah, that's better. And I'm okay if some creatures die in the process. Another bird of the top. Yeah, Realm Walker's putting in work here. I sure hope the opponent doesn't have any sweepers. A Rally the Ranks would also come in handy, but not gonna draw one before damage next turn. So if they spend their turn answering Toski, we just play another one, play Grasselax, draw a million cards approximately. Gonna be the last blood chief instead. Okay. So I could play Grasslax first. Draws me two extra cards, although I'm about to draw a lot of cards here, and if we draw into Alron's Epiphany, we can probably close out the game on the spot. Although then again, by playing Grasslax we can bounce two creatures back, so. I think we'll still go for Grasselax over the play of hoping to draw into a Epiphany. Alright, we'll bounce all three creatures back. I guess a spirit token doesn't matter. And despite the deck not having a lot of expensive cards, you can kind of see why having a lot of mana is still useful in the late game once we start bouncing creatures back with Grasselax. As it turns out, we would have drawn Alrun's Epiphany, but I think we'll be just fine here. So try and be mana efficient about it. Play a couple more birds out. Can play a land still, play a rally, or we can play shale and save the rally for next turn. All right, that looks good. Discard some lands to hand size. Probably could have ditched one extra Grasselax here. This opponent can attack, bring back a creature with Drana. But they're gonna hang back and double rally looks pretty good here although good epiphany for a good measure and then next turn attack with everyone put on gains three life in the process can even bounce Toski back to prevent that from happening and activate shale to put counters on the birds discard grassle axe and then now double rally Naming bird. Alright, sweet. So yeah, we got to see the deck combo off a few times today. 
not always going to work out this well. Sometimes you are up against a very aggressive deck that can outrace you and kill you before you get to leverage those card draw engines. Sometimes you can be up against a few sweeper effects. A well-timed Crippling Fear, Shadow's Verdict, you name it, can definitely take a lot of the wind out of our sails. So it's not a guaranteed win every time, but once you get to combo off, it's quite satisfying. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.